So welcome, I'm here just with my signal generator, vibration generator and this square metal plate which we call a Cladney plate um, and a bucket of sand and I'm going to show you some standing waves but not standing waves maybe that you're used to in one dimension, I'm going to show you some two dimensional standing waves. Hi there, Kit and Gary here. Uh, Gary's been really interested to see what the students have been doing about waves recently and he's asked me to show him some more cool demonstrations. Um, and this is Gorilla Physics, the show where all we care about is Gorilla's understanding of physics. I mean, your exam success, student exam success. So I found this in our cupboard um, from a previous head of physics here. It's called a Chladni, Chladni, Chladini, Chladni plate. But it's, I think it's a really great demonstration for how standing waves aren't just in one dimension. You've probably done standing waves already with the um, same vibration generator as this, but with a string or a bit of wire, um, and you've noticed uh, that the, a wave gets reflected as it comes back, it combines with another wave and produces a standing wave. So I'm going to show you hopefully that this does not just happen in one dimension, as a string is a one-dimensional piece of space, but in more than one direction, dimension. So the plate now is vibrating, it's going at about seven or eight hertz. Okay, so I'm going to need to go up the range. And what hopefully we're gonna see, as it starts to make some really horrible noises, we're going to see some interesting, kind of geometric seeming patterns I'm just going to pause it there just to hope, just to make it really clear what you're seeing here. You're seeing the vibration in the middle spreading out to the edge and vibrating back to the middle. And that is causing this wave addition. Now, if I start it again and I run my finger from here to here, think what, what am I going to feel? So lots of vibration here in the middle. Hmm, no vibration at all there. And again, to a kind of maximum vibration just here. And if I run out this way, no vibration, maximum vibration, no vibration, maximum vibration. So in terms of standing waves, we're talking about antinode, node, antinode, node, antinode, typical of a standing wave. And you can really see that with this, that there's no energy transfer at those nodes because that's the point where the sand doesn't move. So I'm going to try and find other kind of resonant frequencies of this uh, Cladney plate. This is just sand that I'm scattering on top of this metal Cladney plate here. Now the sound's going to get really horrible and annoying, I know that. I'm just sort of adjusting it quite finely to try and find a position where that's happening. So this is another mode of, of vibration of this two-dimensional plane. So again, I'm getting maximum vibration, minimum, max, minimum, max. It's very nice as well if you r run your finger along the edge, you can really feel that change in vibration. Let's look for some more, shall we? We're up to about 800 hertz now. Let's do one about there. I just you can see it really nicely on this edge. Sort of minimum here, maximum energy transfer, minimum, max. Okay, so turn up the dial to the number of thousands now.
And now we're starting to see much more interesting distributions here, which shows you all those reflections that are going on with that single vibration that is being produced in the middle here are adding together to produce this amazing pattern here. Waves. Well, I hope you agree that was absolutely fascinating and this really helps us understand how more complex objects take on these, these resonant modes, okay, these, these modes of oscillation. And I'll encourage you to have a little look around and maybe put a couple of links to some other videos on YouTube because I've just got this quite small square plate. But actually, if you draw out different shapes or sizes of plates, you get different modes of oscillation as well and you can get far more interesting modes of these of oscillations. So do have a look into it and this goes really really far. This is just a nice demonstration for A level for understanding and really visualizing those nodes and antinodes but this goes into a really in-depth analysis um, at university level and it's a really common demonstration when you're looking at SHM in university.